Hi everyone, it's an update video. A few weeks ago we moved to Kostanai. It's a small city in Kazakhstan because in Almaty it was really expensive, like crazy and prices are still going high. So we moved here and it's still overpriced but not as much. We made a credit card which is a big step forward because now I'm no longer cut off from the international payment system. So I made PayPal account, I made PaySend account, links are in the description. So if you want to help me, now you can do it. You can't imagine how important it is to me, even the smallest amount. You can even transfer money directly to the bank account. I will provide any information, just ask in the comments. If you want to use any other payment system which I don't have for now, please let me know in comments. So Bandcamp. I thought I have all my music on my hard drives, but apparently it's not. But don't worry, I'll find a way how to do it. So what about music? Check this out. I found this synth on a flea market in Almaty for the price of basically a sustain pedal. It comes with this big nice sustain pedal and I just couldn't resist. Maybe it's something wrong with me, although I'm in a difficult situation. I just I just can't live without music, so it's very nice Soviet hybrid synth. It has digital oscillators but analog filter, it's actually polyvox filter, and it also has analog chorus. I also think its clock generator could be considered analog, because you can change pitch here, and since it's vintage digital synth, and it uses direct digital synthesis. It sounds really vintage and interesting with lots of character. Let me just show you just a little bit. think about it. I like those sounds. I have a lot of ideas about how can I use it in my songs. I'll make a full review video about this synth at some point because it's really nice and interesting piece of technology. So what plans do I have for now? Well actually I want to make a very short trip to Russia even though it's really risky but I need to take care of a couple of things. First, I need to make international passport, because I don't have one. And without it, my life is very limited even here, and I can't go anywhere. So I need it. And I also should take care of my medical documents and a couple of other things. I think I'll do it quick and before the new year, because it should be relatively safe before the new year. So it's holidays, nobody gonna look too much. So I should be safe, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. If you can help me even a little bit, please do it. It will mean so much to me. Thanks. Thanks for being with me. Till the next time. Bye.